Tinkerbell the dog. And I'm her little sister, Belle. And And this this is is our podcast. podcast. Fierce, fabulous, fluff, talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff, talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Tinkerbell. And I'm Belle. And welcome Welcome to to Gossip Gossip Pops, episode three. Woof, woof, woof. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, three episodes. We're almost at the end of January. I can't believe it. It has gone so fast this year already. I know. And it's almost the end of January. We're in New York and we've had no snow. No snow at all, which, you know, I don't really mind because then my paws don't get dirty from the filthy snow. Once it becomes beautiful, then all of a sudden the next day it's disgusting and dirty and I hate it. Well, I haven't had much time to play in it, but I did enjoy it when we were in Vail last year. Yes, that snow was magnificent. It wasn't the cold snow that we get here. Yeah, so... I don't know, maybe we'll have a snowstorm, at least one at least, but we'll see. Well, humans said it was supposed to snow, but it never snowed. Yes, well, we'll have to see what happens. One day. I think we'll get one soon, hopefully in February, but I just, it's so gorgeous and then it's just so, ugh, dirty afterwards. Well, February is Wednesday, so here we come. Yes, here we come. Yeah. So how was your week, Belle? It was great. I mean, we had a pretty calm week, but busy. A lot of work, I think, we got done at home more in the studio. Yes, we did a lot more home, and it was great. I didn't get to go to set. You didn't get to go to set, but we did social media campaigns. and Yes, we did a lot of shooting and editing of videos for some products. Yeah. That we really enjoy. The we got to eat a lot of delicious treats. So good. The first ones of 2023 are actually up. Two went up this week. Yes. And I think we did pretty good. Yes, I, I think I think we nailed it. We just we just slayed. Yeah. I think our acting was pretty good. So fruitables, it's a really, really good treat. That was our first one that went up. Mm-hmm. And that was just so much fun to shoot. Yeah, I love those treats. They're so delicious. I like stealing them from you. (laughs) Yes, so rude, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, that was a fun one. And then Floof AI, which is so cool. Yes, I really, really enjoy how, you know, the app just like makes makes me look even better than how I look already. It just... It's just... Puts us in... uh, It's art. Yeah, and it puts us in different clothing with different expression. And the most fun is that... Very creative. We mixed us together. Yes. So we took a photo of myself, my diva beautiful self, and then my little sister. We took both photos. And then the AI app made a Tinkerbell concoction, I guess. It's great. A mix, a mix. (laughs) It's so fun. So it looks one of ridiculous. The, we have four ears. Yeah, one of the pictures has four ears, but you can tell whose are yours and whose are mine. Yes. It's just so much fun. It looks almost like an alien type. Yeah, I love it. It was it was really great. And there, when you put your pictures into the app, you get so many different photo options and you get to keep them all yeah and it's so nice just to have it's a fun little app and um i did see a couple haters though that came our way because they told us that we should not use that app and and commission artists which we do commission artists we support artists i mean we have all the time we have artwork we literally have a, a room dedicated to our artwork yeah and some come from italy and Mm -hmm. some come from spain and those artists are wonderful yes and you know but some people can't do that and this is a great option if you want to just have some fun and have some cute photos and art for your dog yeah and it's computer generated but it's fun there's Mm -hmm. nothing wrong yes art is art (laughs) yes it is 
Yeah. Oh, so also this week was so exciting. We got really great presents in the mail. Yes, we did. Oh, oh, I almost totally forgot. Oh, I just loved, loved one of the packages the most. I know which one. Which one? Vineyard Vines. Yes. We got Vineyard Vines striped polo shirts and we got uh, shep shirts. Shep shirts too. In navy. Yeah. Oh, a classic. And human wears vineyard vines, so it's just perfect. Yes, and I mean, they just came out with this new pet collection, and we got this box in the mail, and oh, it's just divine. I can't wait to, you know, wear it around New England and just have that feel. And then, of course, I'll wear it around New York too, but it, there's just something about wearing my vineyard vines, like if I'm in, you know, Connecticut or Rhode Island or Massachusetts. You really fit in then. Yes. And they're just classic, classic. And I love the little whale on each shirt. It's so oh, cute. It's adorable. The polos are to die for. Oh, thank you, Vineyard Vines. Thank you, Vineyard Vines. Woof, woof. <laughs> and then we got um, another great gift in the mail. It was from Puppy Protection. And they gave mm-hmm. us, gave us um, striped hoodies and this onesie it's this really nice black fleece onesie yes i i tried it on i was about to fall asleep basically it was so comfortable so cozy so warm so comfy and stylish too and if there Mm -hmm. is a snowstorm we'll put that under our snowsuit and we'll be ready oh so that's why you want the snow to wear your new onesie i love wearing our new presents (laughs) It's the best thing ever. Oh, it's a fabulous life. Yeah, presents are the best. Keep sending them. (laughs) So, Tink, any good gossip this week? Oh, well, I have a lot of gossip this week. I'm so excited. Should we get into the pop culture? Let's go. Okay, well, here we go. So, I'm going to start with, actually, because I'm a Swifty pup. We'll talk about this first. I'm a sweet tooth pup too. Yes, you are. But even though I've not met her, and you've met her, how many times? Two, three. I don't know, but one day <laughs> I'll meet her. But I am a swifty pup, so let's hear it. Yes, well, Taylor Swift, she has released a new music video for her song "Lavender Haze" off her album "Midnights," and. I actually got to watch the video this morning. I woke up early because I just couldn't stay up till midnight. I was a tired diva last night, so. I couldn't stay up either, but I watched it this morning when I woke up. Yes, and I honestly, I really enjoyed it. It was very artsy. Um, it was it was very storytelling. Obviously, she wants to be in like that, just stay in that lavender haze with her love, Joe, and Stay in the fishbowl, as she I says. I didn't really understand it. I think it was in the sixties or something. It took place. Well, yes, the whole, the whole. Um, she has three music videos apparently, and this is the second one that she's released. But they all are in the seventies. Seven. They're a seventies vibe. That's what oh, she has said. Yeah, that's definitely a seventies vibe. Um, I like her music. I love her. The music video for me was just a little, uh, it was okay. Maybe I'm too young. I mean, I think it's just, it's just about, you know, being in love and she wants to just stay in that. I loved her eyeshadow though. Oh, yes, it was gorgeous. So pretty. I thought it was very, it was just really like pop arty. I liked it. Yeah. It was very artistic. Tons of purple, obviously. Lavender. Everywhere. Yes, and everyone keeps saying that it's because Speak Now is the next re-recording album to be released. Oh. So much purple everywhere. Purple. Oh. Yes. Maybe. Well, I like the purple flowers in it, and the purple smoke in the air was really pretty, but my favorite was definitely her purple eyeshadow. And I liked how the walls of the house went down. On yes, so down. if yes, and that house actually is the is the lover house from oh. the lover music video. Wow! So she's breaking down the walls. She broke them. I yeah. saw them fall. Mm-hmm. Very cool. 
I enjoyed it. Yeah, everyone should take a look. Mm-hmm. Because definitely watch it. Give it a view. We're Swifty pups Let's, and yes. we think everybody's a Swifty. Mm-hmm. Who Get doesn't those... like Taylor Swift? I mean, you know, it's she's either for people or some people don't, but it's okay. Her music's really great. But we are Swifty Pups and we are not afraid to say it. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> so, our next story is actually another thing that just came out this past week. And um, we actually did watch a couple episodes because, you know, I just, I'm a, I might be a diva pup, but I love my television sometimes. But um, it's about the new show Poker Face. <gasps> yes. On Peacock with yes. Natasha Leon, and I just wanted to like bring this up just a little bit how this new show came out, and um, we watched the first episode. Yes. And Belle, what did you think? Because I actually I thought it was slow in the beginning, but I actually enjoyed it, and I'm excited to watch the next episode now. I liked it. I think it was slow in the beginning because you had to learn about the character of exactly. her, the lead, and. All of the people around her. I think it's going to be different each week in a different location and a different place, at different people, different cast, different everything. But yes, I liked it because she solves mysteries and uh, she knows when to call out the person who did something wrong. Mm-hmm. And she she thinks about it before she does it because she's already got her backup done and taken care of before she goes and says you did this Mm -hmm. and i think she's fierce yes i i really enjoyed the character actually and i didn't for me i just didn't understand at first what was going on because well just spoiler alert people die so i was i was thinking how is this show going to have more episodes if characters are already dying <laughs> i didn't understand and then i understood yes. at the end that watching, like, the show wait. is about the natasha leon character so i'm thinking we're going to get amazing um you know guest stars every week like a different like amazing actor is going to be taking the the reins so i'm excited to see like all the different stories in every episode yeah and maybe so we'll get unique. an audition hmm, maybe we'll see wait, about does that, that- shoot here it does shoot in new york but they shot the whole show already but you know oh. maybe they'll get an epi- uh, a season two okay next season we are going to be on it i guarantee she's gonna need little we'll cops see. we'll be on it i liked it though i recommend it i definitely recommend to check it out on peacock it's a, also a little artsy Mm-hmm. definitely yeah a little artsy but yeah definitely okay. I, I give it five paws Five paws. Wow. I give it four paws. Okay. Let's wait for more episodes in. Maybe I'll actually, give it five paws. Yeah. I actually give it a little higher pause than, I know this is going to be bad. Taylor Swift's mm. video. Oh. Okay, Belle. You're just young and just don't understand it completely. Exactly. You're not a diehard Swifty. Yes, I am. <laughs> I was born a Swifty because that's all that's played in this please (laughs) okay here's our next story are you ready ready okay so this is a little drama from pittsburgh pittsburgh yes where dance moms originated oh you know those girls so it is an exclusive that abby lee miller well you know that she sold her dance mom studio right in I, Pittsburgh. I heard. Recently. I heard. So now she's auctioning off dance mom items. Ooh. And she says to come get what's left. Huh. <gasps> she's getting rid of her final ties to the dance mom's franchise, auctioning off a ton of memorabilia from the series on the heels of selling her famous dance studio. The dance mom's maven is teaming up with the clean out crew to auction off iconic items from her hit reality series. She announced it was simply time to close out the chapter as she expands all over the world. Mm. And, um, yes, and there's actually, there's some really cool stuff up for grabs. Um, there's the infamous bench. Do you remember when, oh no, you wouldn't remember this. I I never got to watch it, but 
um, I know you I know remember. all the girls and you tell me about it. So yes. I know a little bit about it. But So there's the bench that Kendall's mom gave to Abby in season two. It's a brown bench. Oh. <laughs> She's auctioning that off, starting at $1,000. Woo! Keep yes. it. And there's also, so Abby had a dog named Broadway Baby. Do you? Well, yeah. you wouldn't remember I, either. I've but heard about it. It was a yes, white Yes, she's dog. a white. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she is actually auctioning off the Broadway baby sign. There's mm. a sign with Broadway baby. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> How can you do that? She's just auctioning off everything, I think. So Does, is she, uh, maybe she needs the money. I mean, i Maybe I'm, to be on her side. Maybe she just needs the money. I'm assuming, I mean, I don't know. It was such a dark turn for dance moms when it all came to an end and, you know, the arrests and going to jail. And and then she was diagnosed with, with cancer, I believe. And now she can't even walk. She's in a wheelchair. It's just, it's such a and crazy the, story. The girls all are coming out saying how it was toxic to be on the show and... Not a good environment. Yeah, so many of the girls. But then, of course, there's Jojo, who is the opposite. Yeah. And is thankful for being on the show because that's what made her, which is true. Exactly. That's what made anyone. Yes, from that show. How would you know them if they weren't on the show? And that's how come you met them because they were on that show. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I thought it was very interesting that everything's being auctioned off. So if you are a huge Dance Moms fan, then you might be able to get some memorabilia. You better head to Pittsburgh. Well, no, it's apparently online. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, you can auction. You can bid on it. Pay shipping? Until February. What's the date it says? I don't know what the date is, but... Oh, February 8th. Oh, let's go look what's there. (laughs) Not that I want anything because I don't really know the show, but I'm curious. But I don't think she should give away things like Broadway Baby Sign. I mean, they're iconic, I guess. Just like the the bench. Yeah. She'll get a lot of money for everything. That was a gift. That was a huge... She's also auctioning off the chalkboard. Where she would have the pyramid, like the old, old days. Oh. It's pretty wild. (laughs) I wonder if any of the cast members will bid on the items so that they have something for themselves from their show. Well, if they don't want to remember it to begin with, then I don't think they want to auction off. Maybe Jojo will swoop in and buy it all. (laughs) Imagine. Go, Jojo. Wow. Okay, I think we're going to get to our next story. Okay. And this is a story of the week, how Kylie Jenner revealed her son's name Mm. and how to pronounce it. Now, we all know that we thought the baby's name was Wolf Webster. That was what was posted a while ago. A year um, ago. Last February. Yes, last February. And then it it was revealed that that wasn't the name that she was going to be changing it and no one knew what it was and now we know the name has been revealed it is air pronounced air like billionaires hmm. well i think what do air, you think of that name air is a little better than wolf I don't think I would like to be called Wolf when I'm in school and on the playground. Hey, Wolf, come on, Wolf, Wolf. I mean, that's a little weird. So Air is, why can't they just get a normal name like Belle or Tinkerbell? Why do they have to be called Wolf and Air? Oh, I am just. And why did it take them a year to figure this out? Why is this so difficult? I'm so hard here. What what took one year to look at this child to say, you're heir? I have no clue. I can't give you any answers here. All I can say is, the All name is heir. All I can say is, wolf. <laughs> wolf. <laughs> they're, oh, Belle. They're very different kind of people, I suppose. But heir is better than wolf. Yes, and... I don't know. I think it's kind of nice. It's A I R 
E. Yes, so just it's a little like different. We have E at the end of our names. Belle yes. and Tinkerbell have E at the end. I get it. She took that from us, but I, I still don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Kardashians! I've gotta love them. I, I don't mind the name. I, I think it's it's definitely a hundred times better than Wolf. Honestly, Wolf as well. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. Well, Wolf. let's see. What could it's, his nicknames be? Air, airy, airy, air, air. Air. There's really no nicknames for air. Airy. Maybe just airy. Airy. So then maybe air. maybe they'll get a deal with maybe American call Eagle. <laughs> airy. Airy. And maybe they'll say, A. Like pretty little liars. A. Oh. A. Maybe. Airy. A. A. Hmm. Hmm. Well, better than, hey, Wolfie, come on over. Oh goodness! I don't know I why have no I took other away. words. I think you just you said all the words that we needed about why this did topic. Why did it take a year? To I don't name know. A baby. I don't know. It's all you know. It's all in the, the in the tactics and of when they announce it. They probably knew a long time ago. Yeah, I don't. I think yes because he's, the baby's a year, so you're already responding to your name. So they've probably just been calling him Aaron, make us think it's been Wolf, and kept mm-hmm. it under like top secret exactly oh yeah. hollywood oh Kardashians. So, talking about more baby news also paris hilton has had a baby apparently oh yes with her husband carter oh yes they announced it and they announced they have a brand new baby and paris isn't revealing their bundle's name or oh, gender yet another one <laughs> Come on! But she did post an adorable pic of the infant's hand gripping hers. The proud mom says, you are already loved beyond words. Well... So, it's unclear, too, if they adopted or had a surrogate, um, but... We definitely know she was not pregnant. She was not pregnant. She's been we out and about her everywhere. On New Year's Eve. Yes, we just saw her on New Year's Eve. So there was there's... no baby there. Yes, no baby bump. No. So, um, yeah. Well, and no name yet. So maybe it was a surprise. That's why it has no name yet. Mm-hmm. Well, we know he's a he. Boy, he's a lucky. I wait. Maybe it is? that's no. Why... The gender has not been revealed. Oh, it hasn't. No. I thought it was a he. No. Oh, wow. Well, maybe that's why she wasn't on my shoot for Hilton last week. Because she was with her baby. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. Well, that baby's the luckiest baby on earth. Lots of baby news. Talk about fashion and presents. Talk about fashion. I know. I mean, because, you know, Paris Hilton's dog named Tinkerbell without the E. Yeah. And all her other dogs, they are just... They are so like regal and spoiled and have all the latest trends in fashion. So I cannot imagine this child. It's going to be just in the lap of luxury. Yeah, maybe we'll meet them. I was hoping I was meeting Dressed her last lines. Friday, but I never did. So maybe now, maybe we'll meet the whole maybe. family. Her, maybe the she'll baby. DJ at my next birthday. That'll be birthday. so fun. That would be amazing. Yeah. Paris, come on over. <laughs> so, should we do any more stories, or do you feel as though we had enough? I think that was really good gossip. Though. Those were those were great gossips. I mean, I have one more, okay. one more little story if Let's you want to just hear about it, about the week, and it's just about Britney Spears and how oh. the cops were called to her home after she deleted her Instagram. Fans called the cops because they were concerned for their. Si- for her safety and they actually ended up going to her house and then apparently they left really swiftly because there was no issue because britney's fine everybody leave britney alone it's just getting so out of hand and she actually posted also on her instagram saying how you know this has gone too far and that she's okay but people still do not believe that she's okay that someone is you know writing the posts and it's not her posting on her instagram or posting on her social media it's just 
It's fans really are crazy. getting out of hand. Fans are crazy. Everybody. Yes, that's just the moral of the story. Leave Britney alone. Leave Britney alone, and and don't assume to- anything because people do assume things. Just like you said, we got some mean comments on our mm-hmm. AI posts. Oh, I love the haters, though. Yeah. Well, haters maybe Britney hate. does too, but they, these people, you know, they they think because. They follow her on social media that they know her, but that doesn't mean you know her. And Mm -hmm. then you call police and the police go because you read about something on social media. That's crazy. It's wild. And I just hope that she's happy and living her best life. And everyone needs to calm down, honestly. It's oh, getting too crazy. Well, first it was free Britney, and now it's now leave it's Britney free. alone. Yes, now <laughs> leave her alone. Leave her alone. Free Britney to leave Britney alone. She's exactly. free now, so let her be. Completely. Craziness. All right, are we ready for pop culture? Because I think I am. I am. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Belle, what have you got for us today? Well, this is... Very interesting. I found this very, very, very interesting. First of all, the, this is about dog breeds with the most timeless popularity. And do you know 74% of adults prefer dogs and only 41 prefer cats? Oh. But that could be because of allergies too, but I don't know. But it's really interesting because this is about timeless breeds. So... Obviously, we're not on the list because we're Papatees, and that's kind of a mix. But the most timeless breed is, ready? I'm ready. A Chow Chow. Chow Chow? See? I knew it. What? Timeless. Oh. And the, the highest ranking this is. And second in line is something called a Brittany. What? Not Britney Spears. Not Britney Spears. Spears. No. And third is Newfoundlands. I know that that's a big guy. What is a Britney dog? I don't know. And then followed by West Highland White Terriers. These are timeless. Oh, what I is see a Britney, a Britney dog? What is it's it? Gorgeous. Is he big too? Oh, he's nice. Kind of reminds me of a Cavalier, but yes, uh, cute, cuter. Different. Yeah. So following West Highland White Terriers Aww. are Pugs and then Siberian Huskies. And the list goes on and on and on. There's uh, all kinds, but it's very amazing and what the top five are. Very, very interesting. So those are the top five breeds. Well, thank you for that, Belle. Yeah. Interesting, right? Yes, I have nothing to say because I am I am the top, actually. Yeah. If you didn't know already, but Yeah. Um I guess they just forgot about me. I guess so. This is a fun one. Ready for this one? Yes. So a New York man quit his forty thousand dollar a year teaching job to make a hundred and twenty K as a dog walker. Oh, he went to college to be a school teacher, was being a school teacher and on the side walking dogs because the mm-hmm. job wasn't enough money for him, what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And he realized walking all the dogs is better than teaching school because it's more than, it's triple the amount of pay. Well, I know what the problem is here. And that is that teachers are not paid enough. And it is just really, really unfortunate. That is ridiculous. Yeah, and he taught in the city, downtown in the financial district, for special needs students. Okay. So we don't really know what kind of teacher he exactly was then. Yes. He was a special needs teacher at a special needs school in the financial district of Manhattan. So is it a private school? Do we know that? Because I think... For private schools like that, sometimes the pay is less, significantly less. It's like being a teacher at a private school compared to a public, correct? Well, I don't know about that. You I don't know, know more but... about that than me. But what happened was that during the um, pandemic, he started supplementing 
by taking on the friends. dog walking. Right. And then he realized it was better. He enjoyed the mm-hmm. dogs. I mean, dogs don't talk back to you. Dogs exactly. don't argue with you. You don't have to hear about the dog's parents. He, he had a great time complain. walking all these uh, dogs actually. of all sizes and ages. And he then said, I'm doing this full there time. Are, there They're are out. some crazy dog parents out there. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely not probably as bad as he, typical parents. For, for one dog, he walks it for a half hour and he gets like 20 or $30 just for a half hour. For one dog? Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, when we're walking through New York City, uh, especially Central Park, you see the dog walkers with, like, there are like eight dogs on a leash for one person. Yeah, and they have them all yeah. on a belt, all <laughs> tied on their belt, and they're, like, walking. And yeah, how eating. much do they get paid? So are they making, like, six what $60 a walk per dog? I I guess. I don't know. But it's amazing. So... He found a new career. He even was able to buy a house in New Jersey. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's six, if there's eight dogs you have on a leash at one time and you walk them twice a day, that's $480 per walk. That's, yeah. That's almost $1,000 a day just walking dogs. Exactly. So. Okay. Just do what you want to do that makes you happy and get you lots of income Mm -hmm. i guess it must be nice being a normal dog too sometimes yeah i don't our human will never allow a dog walker no way because no way yeah we're too small to be with those big guys first of all exactly but what if we disappear yeah what if that dog walker walks a little too far yeah they they might know this guy personally most of these people which is how we started but mm, no Anyway, moving on. Yes. Dog names revealed. Oh, another, another story. Oh, Woohoo. This pup culture. American Kennel announced the top canine names for the year. Oh. I don't know. My name is... My name and your name should be... My name is one. so unique. I don't think that it's a top name. It's just so, not... Oh, it's just... Top... Let's hear it. Top girl dog name is Luna. Luna. Ah, the moon. Luna. I now, love that name. Yeah, me too. I don't, I mean, but ready for the second name? Yes. Close to my name. Bella. Oh, of course. Yay. Almost uh, my name. But it's not Belle. No. And is it, is the next one Air? No. <laughs> wolf? And not Wolf either. <laughs> It's Daisy. Daisy. Oh, yes. So I can I can imagine that Daisy, being a very popular name. Followed by Lucy, followed by Willow. Hmm. Are the top 5 girl names. Very interesting. Now ready for the boys names? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Top boy name. Wolf. Max. <laughs> Max. And second, Air. Just kidding. <laughs> We second, can't let this go, can we? <laughs> no. Second is Milo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Followed by Cooper. Followed by Charlie. Followed by Teddy. Oh. Mm. We know a bunch of Teddies. Yeah. There's a bunch of Teddies. Around the New York area. And yes. I've heard of Luna. And, I mean, and... probably everywhere in the world. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know any other dogs, though, with those names. No. And they're the most popular. Can mm. you imagine? Interesting. I don't know. Well, I was pretty close. Bella, Bell, Bell, Bella. I like Bell better than Bella. I like Bell a hundred times better. Me too. A and thousand yes, times better. Bella is very popular. There's yes. actually a TikTok where they interview all the vets at one vet office. What's the most popular dog name? And each person answers, and it's Bella. <gasps> so why like didn't Bella get number time. one? I don't know. I guess Luna takes it Luna, for some reason. But not in that vet office where they did the TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So are we, I think we are going to start our next section of the episode. It's new this week. This is so exciting because this is only our third episode of the podcast. Yes, and we already got tons of emails coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. And remember, if you want to send us a question or 
comments or just ask us anything or ask our advice, you can always email us at gossippups at gmail.com. And we chose two for this week. So are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, the first one is Debbie from Nashville. Oh, hey, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I love your Instagram, and now I love your podcast. It makes my Friday. 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 <laughs> Humans say Friday, but yes. we say Friday. Friday. I love taking photos of my pup, but I have a question. Where can I get sunglasses for my tiny pup, and how do you keep them on? Oh, oh. this is that's a, a good loaded question. question. Yes, that's a great but, question. I mean, honestly, we wear mostly human sunglasses. Mm -hmm. So sometimes whatever human has on, she'll just stick on me or you, Tink. And um, sometimes we get them in the mail from companies who want us to wear the sunglasses. Yes, and I find that, you know, I started wearing sunglasses in the beginning of my life because, you know, the sun is just very harsh on my eyes. I have like very like... I have precious eyes. So when I was taking photos a lot, of the, a lot of the time, human wanted to protect my eyes because I was squinting so much. And then I started wearing human glasses and I find that when I put them on my face, the best part is about the, the nose area. You have to have like the proper nose area for the human sunglasses to like lay on a dog's face like mine perfectly. So I find like that is the best part of the glasses and that's what you should focus on when you're thinking of putting a human pair of glasses on a dog, Yeah, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I like the bigger glasses too, like you do, Tink. I yeah, like because human. it rests on your nose. They just Perfect. look more glamorous and um, they're, you just close the where the human has it on their ear, you just close that in the back, like pinch it together and it stays on us perfectly. Yeah. But I guess we also um, aren't running around with them on. Yes. Yeah, so we're usually put into a stay. Um, human taught us how to stay and I can stay for over 10 minutes, I oh, think, if I, I had to. I think we could probably stay for an hour if we had to. <laughs> yes. And um, so... When we're putting the glasses on, I'm in a stay, so I'm not moving. So human yeah. just puts them on, clasps them in the back like a normal human does. But I guess because our head is obviously smaller, the back of the glasses, they kind of crisscross a little bit when yeah. you put them on because yeah. that we're obviously not human size heads with those human ears. But um, and they stay. For as long as we take the photos. Yeah. And my first commercial I did was for an eyeglass company. and Oh, yes. Yeah. And what they did, because I had to uh, run to camera mm -hmm. and start in a stay and, and then run to camera. So what they did was they put tape on my collar and on the end of the sunglasses so they wouldn't fall off. That is a very, very good tactic. Yeah. So when I was running, they bounced a little, but they didn't fall off. Wow, I did not know that, Belle. Yeah, that's what they did the first time. Well, then you can try that at home as well to yeah. keep the glasses so on. So maybe that'll help, but just make sure your dog um, stays Is happy, still. though. Yeah. yeah, and make sure they're happy. I mean, if they don't want to wear the glasses, then they probably don't. I mean, um, and you don't want to force them to wear them if it doesn't make them happy. Yeah. But I love sunglasses. It just keeps the sun out of my eyes because my eyes are just so delicate. And so I just gorgeous. love them because they're fashionable. Mm. Yes, of course I love fashion so, too. But ready for the second? Oh, we're done? Okay, yes. So that's the glasses story. So, moving on. Yes. Oh, can I just say one more thing about sunglasses? Okay. Those sunglasses on, you know, Amazon and everything for dogs with the straps, hate them. Terrible. Oh, I saw them on um, set last week. Oh, they drive me crazy. They had a choice of those strappy things or the regular. The straps, oh, they're terrible. Now, and those I hate. Yeah. I refuse to wear them. I will shake. I will shake till till human takes them off of me. There's just no style or fashion about no, them. No, and they're not fashionable. No. Oh. No, they're terrible. So I would definitely not get those. No. Get regular human glasses. Or mm -hmm. just put yours on your pup. Mm-hmm. So... Next question is from 
Coco. Oh, Coco. And Coco is a Yorkie named after. Now that's a popular name. Why isn't that on the list? Coco. Not beautiful. Top, top five. Beautiful name, and I think I I know so many dogs named Coco. And this Coco was named after Coco Chanel. Oh. But here's the controversy. Fabulous. The dog's name is Coco after Coco Chanel, but she won't wear clothes. Oh. What do I do? She says, and then. Love you, girls. Keep up the great work. I am a huge fan of you both. Oh, sending love, Coco. Love you, Coco. So Coco won't wear clothes, and your name is Coco Chanel. That's、oh. really i. What do you call that? Iconic or、uh, I don't know. That's crazy. So we love clothes. Human got me started. As soon as I kind of arrived I here, I think. Yeah, I think that. Is something that starts early on, and they either like we either love it or we hate it because I have, I've always worn clothes. That's all I know. I wear、and、clothes all the time too. I prefer clothes, but you know, but I also do love having the clothes off and getting the stretch and you know shake it off. I think if you don't start wearing clothes as a baby and wear them regularly, then. It's hard to get used to. It's like anything as a human adult. It's hard to start something new.、Mm -hmm. It's like human grandparents can't work a computer because they didn't grow up doing it. So maybe that's the same for clothes. Like if you don't, if you're a puppy and don't wear clothes every day and grow up wearing the clothes, it's really hard to get used to. And then all of a sudden,、yeah. you have these clothes on you. You're not going to be used to it. No, and not prefer it. Oh, this is hard because you know you also don't want to force、um, your dog to wear clothes. But with Coco because, Chanel, you want to have some oh, style. Oh, Coco! Maybe you should start small. You know, maybe like a bandana. Even though I, I'm not a big fan of bandanas. A scarf. As a fashion. Oh, scarf. Yes, yes. Like a scarf, a cute little accessory here or there, and see if they'll keep it on, and then kind of add more layers. I guess. Yeah. What do you think? I think maybe a scarf to start. A little tank top. But you have to do it like every day. You can't just say. Put、I、on mean, all these clothes. Co Coco, I think, is six years old. Now you can't say, "Hey, Coco, let's get a shirt on." <laughs> let's put on layers. Coco's been free to be.、Boots. Coco's been free to be for six years. Yeah. So maybe Coco、yeah. likes the free to be world. I think Coco's liking the free to be and used to the free to be and.、Uh, Start slow with the scarf. I think start slow and then keep adding. Not a bandana. Not a bandana.、Oof. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I said that. What? I'm fashion police. The fashion police、a、need、scarf. to come. Yes, a scarf. Maybe one of the nice. No boots. No boots. That is hard. A scarf and maybe a vineyard vine shep shirt. Because <laughs> it's not fitted or tight.、So、yeah, maybe not.、Like、yeah, try loose clothing. Yeah. Loose shirts. Yeah. And see how that works out. I think Coco will like that. Definitely, and oh, Coco, maybe update us in a couple weeks. Yeah, send us、it. an email and let us know.、Uh, send us a photo of、and、Coco too, in her outfits. Let us know how the sunglasses goes, Debbie. Yes, Debbie. If you if you have more success with the sunglasses, please email us a photo or yeah, just email us and let us know how it works out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great questions. Keep them coming, guys. Thanks. Yes, we love it. And、yeah. if you want to send us anything, remember gossippups at gmail dot com. Yeah. I think are we towards the end of our episode? I cannot I, believe it. I think so. I can't believe it goes so fast. This is wild. Time flies. Yes, time does fly. It's air. <laughs> time is air. Time is air. <laughs> Woohoo! Not a wolf. <laughs> Not a wolf. But air. Air,、yes. not earth, not soil, but air. Yeah. So let's tell everyone again. Water. Make sure to listen, <laughs> download, like, subscribe, and give five, five paws, paws up. up. Happy, Happy weekend. weekend! XOXO. Woof. Fierce, fabulous, fluff, talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff, gossip pop.